Hi traders, I'm about to short Tesla. It's stopping here, or at least I'm think, I think it's stopping. It's up 2.4% and I, you probably wonder why I'm shorting a stock that is up that much and trending higher. Okay, short. Now, shorted at 370.30. I do have a $1 stop loss right here at the highs. So I'm taking a $1,000 risk with 1,000 shares and $1 target. The thing is traders, this is Monday morning and on Monday morning we have the famous Monday morning 30 minute reversal and this is why I think right now Tesla should come down and it does. Look at it. Look at it goes down. Okay. Doing good. It's a bit spready but I'm already up $300, $400, $500, 600 there we go, 700, 800. Come on, Tesla, show me $1. <laughs> That's my target. My first target in Tesla is $1, just a bit more than a dollar, and I promise I'll let you go. Okay, Tesla, there you go. A little bit more than a dollar. Taking my partial right now. Okay, just covered 800 shares on this great Tesla trade, just below $1,000 profit. Okay, traders, this is the end of my trading day, and I do owe you an explanation about the Tesla trade. So, as you may remember, I shorted it right here at 37.31, right here at the top. I thought it should come down, even though it was trending higher, and I had a good reason to think it's going to come down. The thing is, this is today, Monday. By the way, look at this amazing drop of Tesla. This was indeed the high of the day. You should take a look at the market when you're making a decision like what I did right now with Tesla. Look at this topping right over here. I thought we should come down from this point. The reason I thought we should come down from this point is because it's Monday morning. And on, an, on Monday morning, we have a lot of open orders from the weekend that are all being settled at the first 30 minutes of the trading day. Now take a look at the Nasdaq. The Nasdaq was trending lower and that's in fact a combination of two things. The fact that there's a lot of open orders on the first 30 minutes on a Monday morning and therefore we do many times have a reversal at the 30 minute mark. So I was expecting the S&P to pull back as it did. At the same time the Nasdaq was coming down as it did. So I had two reasons to think that Tesla as a technology oriented company and because the Nasdaq is pulling lower and because the S&P was topping at that time, or at least I thought it should because of the Monday morning reversal again. Therefore, I was pretty much sure that Tesla is going to come down at that point where it reached that highs. And again, that was the 30 minute mark. So usually on a Monday morning, market reverses. Usually stocks that are trending higher with the market will change direction. It, it, it's going to be the same thing if the market is moving down. It's probably going to move higher after 30 minutes. That is, of course, not a 100% secured trade. But if I have a chance of making money in 70% of the time, just because I know there's this famous Monday morning reversals, then that was a great trade in Tesla. So I gained, as you can see here, $1,600 in this trade. I'm still open with 50 shares and up something like 10 points right now. Well, I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you very much for watching this. Traders, if you like to learn trading, trade live with me and get a funded account without risking your money, click in this corner in order to learn more about my funded accounts program. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, just go ahead and click subscribe. Over here, you can find some of my best live trading videos. And please, if you have any questions, let's have a discussion in the comments below.